I just don't ever want to hide, man. I don't ever want to be fake. I want to come through on my YouTube channel. Some of the viewers, at least one of you, will learn something from watching this. And I'm going to tell you what the problem is. Apparently, a affiliate, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, just associate, who knows, this fucking asshole, this scumbag bitch, was in my dad's life. Sorry for saying bitch. I was trying to really do this good with the choice of words. This woman was in my dad's life. She claimed I was a heroin addict. How she claimed this and how she came to know this, to even say something like that, was not because she saw my YouTube channel, not because I told her, not because she saw me snort some dope, because she just randomly said I was on heavy drugs because of the things that I said on this phone call that she overheard. I called my dad, you know, I'm upset, you know, whoop you whoop, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna do that, you know. <sighs> it's all just an outlet, you know what I mean? Just tell somebody, like, look, I'm having these feelings, I feel like I could do it, you know, I feel like I could take so and so and do whatever. It's not it's not okay. You know, it's not cool. So it upset these people. It upsets my dad. It upset the girl he's with. So they come on and talk to me about that. And they're like, we think you're on drugs. <laughs> this bitch, you know, didn't come talk to me, man. Really, what happened was this this woman, she's this lady. She's like talking in my dad's ear. She's been like, this man's on dope, you know, whatnot. To this individual, if you ever do see this. No, not on dope. That was actually sober. The dope is much worse. It takes me to levels that makes it look like nothing. What you're addressing. I'm sorry for saying it, trust me. I don't want to be responsible for saying that. Um. The point is, this like took me to a place of like, I need to just go ahead and use. You know what I'm saying? It's like, these motherfuckers, man, like, if I'm gonna get berated for it, I just, then maybe it's true. Like, maybe I am just a junkie piece of shit. Like, I get clean to go through this? And that's my point. You know what I mean? That's what I'm freaking out about. But the truth of it all is, if you get clean for, like, even three months and your life is selling smooth and you get to accomplish that with a huge desire which a lot of percentage of people don't have you better understand something and people say this to me man my aunt said this to me a long time ago I told her I'm gonna get clean I'm gonna do all this shit she said what are you gonna do the first day you have a bad day I thought nothing and we'll do it. I'm clean now, bitch. You know? Oh, wow. I hate that word. Sorry. I'm clean now, you know? What do you mean? And she's like, what are you going to do when you have a bad day? The words never made sense to me until now. When you get clean, something's going to happen. <laughs> Horrible. <laughs> And it's undeserved. You know, you think, once I get clean, it's like, dude, it's like, I've been clean for four months. I've been doing everybody right for four months. And this happens to me. Yeah. It's life. The thing is beeping at me. It's four minutes, ten seconds. Come and find I gotta go. I love y'all. You're special. If nobody told you so far, you're special. You mean something to the universe. Bye.